Alright guys, so we're in the stand, stay tuned. October 2nd here in western New York. Once again, if you've been around a while, you know the stand setup. We kill a lot of those in this stand too. These are kind of our go-to for first week to about, I don't know, third week. These are both really good stands. It's warm today. It's it's gusty. It's not ideal. Uh, but good confidence of the, in the stand producing either way. Stay tuned. So as you can see, we got the outreach arm again. You can see it in the B-roll here. And uh, that's going to add a lot of context to our hunts. I really like this idea. Um, what we're working with here, seeing how we can roll with the B-roll, you've seen enough of us. So what we're doing, you can see right here, this is where we're testing that browning. We got deer coming through this, marking right here. And there's a scrape right, right there that they're hitting really hard. And then they come up through this trail, right up through here, right out to about right here where Moose killed one a couple of years ago. And I killed one a couple of years ago. And then they go out into a big field. So what we're hunting, hopefully, is we can get them right in here. It's 33, 34 yards. Perfect. And the wind's in our favor for such. But these deer, they do, they do come from everywhere in here. 90% uh, of the time, they're going to come from our left. This stand is, it, it's high. It's like 26 feet, maybe, maybe higher. And uh, we got a lot of cover because we're in a sycamore. We have a sycamore that sprouts up right in front of me, blocking me. And it's got a lot of new leaf growth on it today, or this year, I should say. So we're covered really good. We're high. We're out of their, their sight line. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll see some turkeys again. But, yeah. But I'm hoping the moose gets a lot one fly at 33 yards. I'm going to say at 614. So, we'll see. Last time I did this, I was off by a minute. But let's get after it. I don't have my bow today, so whatever walks through, the moose is going to let her fly. Let's get right to it. We just had a bunch of little ones come out and a good doe. My problem is the wind pit has been pretty breezy all day. We were hoping they were going to come from behind us and hook up, but she came out right downwind. She didn't spook, but she knew something was up. Kind of walked back in, so that's why. The only way to really beat a deer's nose is to run the right wind, but that's not where I was thinking the deer were coming from. They usually come right from our left, but that's how it goes. That's why it's hunting. You can never really know, but we'll see what happens. It's still early. It's only 5.30. We just got little spike out front of us so hopefully a couple toes come from that way or come from the creek where we we're expecting them so we'll see stay tuned
exciting little hunt right there. We've seen a ton of deer. Didn't, didn't have anything in range. That first herd that came out, they came out the wrong way. Right where the wind was blowing. We didn't really think they were going to be coming from there. They definitely smelled us and walked, worked off. Then we had the, the deer coming across the creek, which we were hoping they'd do that. But instead of doing what they always do, and coming up and coming across, going to the field, they went the other way, which that was a first. They usually don't do that. But after that, saw another spike. Then there was a yearling out here, and it looked like a little eight point, full, just full sprint, chased that little guy out of there, and went off by her back right. Then we saw four raccoons come out, They've been scurrying around. Moose wanted to put an arrow in one, but I don't know. We've seen probably 10, 15 deer, four raccoons. Pretty fun now. If it wasn't so windy, we probably would have punched a tag, but it is what it is. It's hunting. It doesn't always go perfect, but this one was a fun one for sure. But we're probably going to start packing up here pretty quick. We'll see what happens. As always, guys, smash the thumbs up button, drop comments below, let us know what you thought. Yeah, I was going to say, that thing's tiny. Just as we go to close it out, tiny little doe goes. saying smash the thumbs up button for your boys drop comments below let us know what you thought of it how your season's going all the fun stuff if you haven't yet 
hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We're going to have tons of funds coming. Tons of tests. We got all things coming right now. So, notification bell's key so you don't miss out on any of the content. But guys, this is Jake Slees from Blue Cow Outdoors. Moose is right behind me. We're going to start packing up. This was a fun one. Take her easy.